Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. I'm Gloria. Today let's talk about the difference between S1, T1 and V4 sound. As we can see, this is S1 and this is T1, this is S1. These are all delta structure. T1 and S1 are full enclosed. V400 enclosed was upgraded later. V400 was released in 2022. The printing speed can achieve 400 mm per second. But after upgrading, the printing speed can reach 600 mm per second now. It has 7 inches speeder pipe with pre installed clipper firmware. Also, it supports 1 GB DDR4 memory and 16 GB eMMC onboard memory. On the other hand, the speeder pipe can connect three printers at the same time to improve their printing speed. If you have old printers with a printing speed below 100 mm per second at home and you want to try to improve its printing efficiency, you can try using it. It is equipped with a 300 and 410 build volume. You can print any big size module you want. This printer was auto leveling with leveling module. Before leveling, we must ensure that the leveling module is correctly installed under the nozzle and after finish the leveling, take out it. The maximum temperature of the V4 sound nozzle can reach 300 degrees, so it supports many materials to print. In short, the V4 sound is easy to use and quick to get started. If you are a beginner in 3D printing, you can consider it. S1 and T1 were released in June this year. They look very similar in, in appearance, but there are actually many differences. The max printing speed of S1 is 1 is 1200 mm per second. Max acceleration is 40,000 mm per second square. And the max flow is 110 cube millimeters per second. Max printing speed of T1 is 1000 mm per second. Max acceleration is is 30,000 mm per second square. And the max flow is 90 cube millimeters per second. Let's take a more intuitive example. S1 only takes 7 minutes and 47 seconds to print a bench and T1 takes around 10 minutes. In terms of leveling, they are all fully automatic intelligent leveling. Without installing a leveling module, the pressure sensor installed under the hotbed adjusts the distance between the nozzle and the hotbed through sensing. In terms of heat dissipation, both S1 and T1 use CPAP high pressure turbofans to dissipate heat through air ducts. They dissipate heat quickly while extruding at high flow rates to ensure the printing quality of the model. Real-time monitoring type lips photography, filament detection, air filter, and screen auto sleep. These features are both available on S1 and T1 printers, but only S1 has marked zone heating, remaining filament weight, and conceivable styling features. They run on Fosun OS based on Clipper. This makes processing G code a breeze and offer tools. Also, we developed the Fosun slicer that fits the Fosun printers. Of course, you can also use other slicing software. The biggest printing size of S1 is 320 by 430 mm and T1 is 260 by 330 mm. S1 has higher build volume for big model, but also the weight of S1 is also very heavy. 
it's around 41 kilograms. If you receive the printer, maybe you'll need someone to help you move it back home. T1's weight is around 18 kilograms. As far as I know, most users prefer the best quality over the speed. That means a lot, but all three printers can give you an parallel speed well ensuring quality. The MRSP price of S1 is $14.99. In contrast, the T1 price is $599, and V4 sound is in $459. Last, let me receive the conclusion. If you go for the top printer and upgrade user experience, pick S1. If you look for the top speed with high cost performance, T1 is your best choice. If you are newer as the budget is limited, you can choose V4000. Anyway, I hope this video can help you make the choice and thanks for watching.